record recording okay so that whole lesson we did yesterday i was so upset because i thought i pressed record and i did not and uh, when i went back to go try to upload it to youtube i realized that when i pressed record i actually i thought i was pressing stop i actually pressed record so it only got like the last four seconds of the lesson and i'm so sad y'all because it was such a good one but that's okay we'll make today's lesson even better okay okay let me go to spotlight there we go okay put your puzzle away now okay randy we'll finish it later okay sweet girl okay look because eloise put her baby doll to sleep so let's put our puzzle away for a few minutes remember yesterday we looked at this map of the seven continents and do you know that there's one continent we haven't been to yet does anybody know what continent we haven't been to yet um we went to europe that was the first place uh -huh. we went then we went to the we largest. To Asia. We did. We went to Asia, the largest continent. Did we go to Antarctica? Uh, no. The coldest continent? Yes. We did. Did we go to Africa, where it's really hot? And they have the same yes. opera house? Yes, we did. Yes. Um, and right now we're in South America and Australia. Okay. Now. There's still one continent we haven't visited yet. North America. North America. So next week on Monday and Tuesday, we will visit North America, the last of all seven of our continents, okay? Um, so I just wanted to remind you of all the places that you've been. Right now we're in South, South America and Australia. And yesterday, um, Eloise and I, not Eloise, Eliza and I were talking about if I was on Australia, the continent of Australia, which direction using the compass rose, remember the compass rose, which tells us the directions north, east, south, and west. And I asked y'all, if we were on Australia, which direction would we have to go if we traveled to South America? And I think it was Eliza yesterday who said you would have to travel west. W, going this direction, west, to get from Australia to South America. And then I said, is that the only way that you can get to South America from Australia? And y'all all said, yes, no. because, because this is a flat map, and that would be the only way. But then we pulled out our big trusty what? Globe. Yes. Then we pulled out our big trusty globe, and I just heard someone say, nope you can go a different direction. So if I'm on Australia and I want to go to South America, I can travel east and west and west. east. I can go both directions to get to South America if you're looking at the globe. So two different kinds of uh, maps. A map is a flat map and a globe is a 3D representation of a map. And then, I bet you don't remember. I didn't bring it with me. I left it at school. But do you know what a book of maps is called? Do you remember what a book of maps is called? With lots of pages? An atlas. Do you remember that word atlas? Yeah, the book of maps that you can turn pages in is an atlas. There we go. I'm put, I'm put, Liza, I'll put you on mute, baby because you keep moving around. Um, okay, so many different types of maps. And by the way, a person who creates maps, flat maps, is called a cartographer. A cartographer is kind of like a photographer who takes pictures. So I bet you didn't know that a lot of times uh, the person who is a cartographer is an explorer, and they go explore all these really cool places they take pictures and they uh, do drawings and they draw lines going here and lines going west and north and east. And then they go back and they put it all together and they create a map. And that person is called a cartographer. Okay, so today 
we're going to go back to our books by Rebecca Hirsch and we're going to use photographs and um, photographs help us figure out details. Photographs help us with details in our stories. So a lot of times you can learn from the words, but a lot of times you can learn from the photographs and the pictures. So we're going to go back to South America today and we're going to look at the animals. And we're going to look up the, look at all the details about animals. Eliza, Miss St. Romain, I want you to sit real still. Can you put your hand down, please? Thank you. I want to see your face, okay? All right. Now you have to sit real still or I have to put you back on mute because you're making lots of background noise, okay? Randy, you're frozen. Can you hear me? There you are. Okay. Okay. So we're at South America. What kind of animal is this right here? Mama. Llamas, that's right. We know all about llamas, yeah. don't we? Okay, so when we went to go visit South America, do you remember what we said the llamas do? What did the llamas help the children do? Do you remember what was in the background? Yeah, Eliza, I'm sorry, Eloise. Do you remember what the llamas helped us do? Them. They help them carry up their stuff. Yes. Up what? The mountains. And? Down. Down the mountains. So animals, sometimes animals in other countries and other continents are helpful and they're useful. So in the story, South America, the llamas help everybody carry all the heavy stuff up the mountains and down the mountains. Now, before we get started really looking at these animals, do you remember what this word said? We talked about that last week. Do you remember that word? No. Okay. Amazing. Show me your amazing face. Amazing. Say, amazing. Yes. Good morning, Kaylee. Good morning, Kaylee Martin. Amazing. So that's pretty amazing to be an animal or a llama that can move things up a mountain and down a mountain and carry heavy, heavy loads. That makes them pretty amazing, don't you think? We're going to read more and look at the photographs to learn more about those amazing animals. But I have a question for you. Do you think you can help me? Okay, the books that we read, you know, all those little books that we read by Rebe Rebecca Hirsch, were those story books or were they informational text? All those little books that we read that Rebecca Hirsch wrote and uh, uh, put the photographs and she was the uh, author of the story, were those books informational text or were they story books? Does anybody remember? It's Information notes. Yes, definitely not storybooks. It's not made up. This is real life. Photographs depict real life information. So all of those books that we read were informational texts. Very text. good. Uh, text, that's right. Uh, by the way, another word for a book is a text. So sometimes when you hear your teachers talk about text, they might be talking about your books, okay? When you grow up and you get big books from school, they're called textbooks. That means you're gonna learn something from them, okay? So I'm going to turn to page 16. I want you to tell me when to stop, okay? Okay, you look, you look and watch for page 16 and tell me to stop when I get to it. Stop. 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 Very good. Look at that cutie pie right there. Oh my goodness. By the way, here is that word again. What did I say this word was? Amazing. Amazing. Thank you. So what do you think this word says right here? Do they match? Look at this word in the heading and this word. Do they match? Do they look the same? Yeah, I see Parker shaking his head, yes. So if this word says amazing, what do you think that word says? Amazing. Um, good job, Kaylee Martin, good morning. 
Uh, good job, Kaylee. Uh, they both read amazing. And what did I say we were going to learn about today that's so amazing? Does this say amazing monkeys? No. No, because monkeys begins with an M. So what did I say we were going to learn mm -mm. about today? Amazing. Amazing animals. Woohoo! Amazing animals. You animals. rock. Absolutely. So the first animal we're going to look at today is a howler monkey. Why do you think they call him a howler monkey? What do you think he does? Because they howler, howl in the night. Eliza, what does it mean to howl? That means they howl um, at the moon. Oh, so they make noise with their mouth, right? They make noise. Howling means you make noise with your mouth. So I bet that monkey sure makes a whole lot of noise. Does anybody know where that monkey lives? Where do you think he lives? By the way, he lives in a special jungle. Do you know what the name of that special jungle is? What? No. Watch me. Watch me. What's the name of this special jungle that has lots of a rainforest? Yes, Parker. Good. A rainforest. So this little howler monkey lives in the rainforest. That's his home. By the way, hmm. If he lives in the rainforest, what does he live in? What does he live in? Where do monkeys live? In the trees. Yes, monkeys live in trees. So what do we know about the howler monkey? He howls a lot. He makes noise with his mouth. He lives in the rainforest and his home is in the trees. Very good. Isn't he cute? I wouldn't go anywhere near him. You just don't know. These are also wild animals. Do you have them as pets? No. No way. Now, look right here. Do you know what kind of animal this is? A parrot. A parrot. Okay, so I'm going to tell you a word, okay? It says scarlet macaws live in pears. Does it mean like the fruit? A pear? No. I'm going to show you what a pear means. How many dots do you see? Two. Two. How many parrots do you see? Two. So guess what a pair means? Means two and two. That's right, it means two. A parrot, a pair of parrots is two. So would it be three parrots? No. No. Would it be one parrot? No. No. No, a pair only means two parrots. By the way, do you two. have a pair of shoes at home? Yeah. So how many uh -huh. shoes come in that pair? Two. Two. Do you have a, a pair of eyes? Yes. Yeah. So how many pairs, how many eyes do you have? Two. So really quickly, one more time. A pair means a pair of something. Which means what? It means two objects. Two objects, very good. Okay, so I'm gonna read. Now, this is a parrot. This is a special pair of parrots called scarlet macaws. Now, you know when you teach, um, when you're teaching about or learning about color with Miss Laura, sometimes there are special names for colors. So this red color right here, is called scarlet. They have a lot of red on them. That's why they call them the scarlet macaws. And they always live in pairs. Do y'all remember when we went to Barnhill Preserve? Remember when we went on our, um, our field trip in the fall and we went to Barnhill and we saw all those birds? They were living in pairs. They like to live together. Parrots live in, um, Parrots live in a barn. 
No. No. A rainforest. Okay, they also live in the rainforest, but they live in a... In trees. A mountain. Trees. Oh, yes, no. trees. And in trees. Parrots live in trees. Trees. Guess what they like to eat? Do you know? What do you think they like to eat? They like to eat something they that like you like to eat, like apples and oranges and bananas. Fruit. Yes, they like to eat fruit. Guess what else they like to eat? By the way, what's this word right here? C. C. So add the D and the word C becomes? Seeds. Seeds, yes. They like to eat fruit and seeds. So we know that scarlet is another word for what color? Red. Red. They like to live in pairs, and pairs means? Um, two groups. Two. And they like to live in the? Rainforest. But their house is a? Trees. Tree. And they like Trees. to eat what? What do they like to eat? Seeds, Seeds and fruit. And fruit. Oh, my goodness. So now we know about howler monkeys, they're pretty amazing. Now we know about scarlet macaws, they're pretty amazing too. But this one's my favorite. Does anybody know what The that pink animal? dolphin! Yes, the pink dolphin! Is that a such, is that real? Like, is that a such thing? A pink yes. dolphin? Yes. By the way, pink is my yes. favorite color. And there really are pink dolphins. They can be found in South America. Pink dolphins like to swim, and they live in the rainforest river. Do you know what they do? They catch rainforest fish. River. Yeah, the rainforest river. They catch fish with their really with long With their what? long um, mouth. Another oh, word for your nose, because this is actually his nose. It's a snout. A snout. It's oh a snout. Oh my goodness, y'all are just... Okay, I cannot wait to give you your prize next week because I'm just so impressed with how smart you are. Oh my goodness. The pink dolphin catches fish with his very long snout. A snout being another word for his nose. Okay, so we learned all kinds it's of really amazing things. One. So let me wait, flip to the back really quick and see if there is anything else I wanted to go over with you about animals. Yes. Look at this last amazing animal. He's very tricky. A cheetah. Yes, we want to call him a cheetah, cheetah, but you know what? It's not a cheetah. It's a leopard. Look, he does also have spots like leopard too. Look right here. Does that say cheetah or leopard? What's another word? To, it starts no. with just, just. Uh, when we think of this animal, we uh, think of them being black. Jaguar. 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 Yes. A jaguar is nothing but a big dog. It's like a big dog, but it yeah, looks yeah, like yeah. a like, cat. Look at him. What? What? Oh, not a dog? What'd you say it was? It was a cat. Oh, oh, I got that all wrong. Jaguars are big cats. Thank you. I'm so glad you were here helping me. They live in the rainforest also in South America. Did you know that jaguars are actually really good swimmers and they love to play in the water? Kind of like you, Eloise. Maybe little um, jaguars like to play in the water as much as grown-ups. I bet you're right. Probably even more, right? Mother jaguar. Uh -huh. Look right here. She's the mother jaguar. She can teach her cub Ooh. how to hunt. What is she hunting for? Fish. Animals. Other animals, that's right. What do you think they're gonna do with those other animals? Eat them up, but not the bones. Oh my goodness, they're gonna eat them up, but not the bones. Yeah, you're right, they're just gonna eat the meat, right? Okay. okay. Yeah, so, so they can be healthy. Absolutely, that is so true. So look right here, I'm gonna go back to these amazing animals. This one is the howler monkey. The macaw, the scarlet macaw, the pink dolphin, and the jaguar. Okay, I need your help now. We're going to write a sentence. Now remember, we've been doing this for quite some time. When we were in school, 
we've been doing this for quite some time. So when we are writing a sentence, there are three things we need to know. Say who, who does what, does what, when. When. Okay, so we have to know three things. You have to help me write this sentence. Who does what, when, and that will That's make right. our when. sentence. So I'm not going to just listen to somebody shouting out. I want someone to raise their hand and tell me which animal that we learned about today do you want to write a sentence about? Raise your hand when you know which animal do you want to write a sentence about today? Let me see who's got their hand raised. That's who I'm going to call it. Kaylee Martin, which animal do you think we should write a sentence about? Uh, uh, the monkey. The which one? Oh, the monkey. Okay, let's go back to the howler monkey. Kaylee wants us to write a sentence about the howler monkey. Okay, do we already know who the sentence is about? Who is the sentence about? The howler monkey. Okay, so guess what we're going to start it with, Eliza? We're going to write hmm. the howler monkey. Parker, if you have your paper and your pencil and you want to write with me, you can, okay? So wait, what's the first word in our sentence? Um, okay, so we're going to write three words. The, the howler, howler monkey. monkey. What's our first word I need to write? The. The. The, the or the. Okay, good. I see Eliza's got her paper too. So we're going to write the. Oh, let me put this down. The. 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 Mm, let me see. Let me see if I can move that a little closer. Is that better? Okay. Z yes. is our first word. Yes. Then I need to do something very important between our words. What do I need to do? I need to put a. Um, remember what that's called? Say a finger space. You know what I'm going to do? Finger space. Yeah. Why? I'm going to stop sharing for a second. So can you see this better now? Okay. Yes. Z. And then yes. you put your finger space. What's my second word? V. V. Which animal are we howler writing? Howler monkey. Okay. Oh, howler monkey is howler two monkey. words. Howler monkey. Howler. Howler. This is the word howler. V. Howler. Kitty cat. No. Monkey. No, oh, monkey. What's the first letter I'm going to write for monkey? Mm. What letter is M. that, Kaylee? M. Very good. I need another finger space. Mm. Monkey. The howler monkey. Look, I'm going to put a little box. Did we say who the sentence was about? The Howler Monkey. No. I'm going to put a check box for each one until we check each one off. What does the Howler Monkey do? Can anybody tell me something that the Howler Monkey does? Howl. <gasps> he howls. Howl. So the Howler Monkey, and it's a new word, so I need my finger space. The Howler Monkey. Howl. Yes. Howl. Howl. What comes at the end? Howls. S. S. Whoop! I gotta be careful. I'm in. I'm knocking this over. The howler monkey howls. Did we say what the howler monkey does? Yes. Yes. We still have yes. one more question when. to answer. Who when does what? Yes. <gasps> Y'all, I'm so excited today. When? Who does what? When? when? So the howler monkey howls. When? At night. <gasps> At, at night. night. Now, does it say that? Did it say that when we were reading it? Um, but what, are, is that what we think it happens? Is that when we think it happens? Yes. So we'll write at night because I like that. That's a really good inference. We are inferring that that's when the howler monkey howls because that's when a lot of animals make noise, right? Don't they usually make a lot of noise at night? Yes. Yeah. Okay. The Howler Monkey uh -huh. Howls. At. Oh, now, do I have enough room to write at right here? No. Yeah. No. Do I need to return? Mm -hmm. Wait. 
I don't spell at. That's a tight word. A T. A T. At. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. Kaylee Martin. Night. Watch me. Mmm. What letter is that, Kaylee? N. N. Very good. Mmm. N I T. Nice. Well, that's the funny thing. Night is one of those words that is not spelled the way it sounds. And we will learn more about that. Did we uh, say who? Yes. Did we do, does what? Yes. Did we answer when? Yes. Yes, so I need to add my check mark. Am I finished with my sentence? Look at it carefully. Am I finished? Yes. Are you yes. sure about that? Yes. yes. Something's missing. Yes. What's missing? A period. Uh, yes. period. Now, could I put a, a exclamation point? Yes. No, yeah. no. Could I put a question mark though? No. Because no. I'm not asking a question. I'm telling something. So I'm just going to put a period. Okay. Period. Did anybody write their sentence? Yes, I wrote a period too. Okay, let me see it. Put it up close. Put it up close, Eliza, so I can see it. Oh, very good. Okay, how many words are in our sentence? Let's count how many words. One, two, One, three, two, three, four. four. Five, five, six. How many words are in our sentence, guys? Six, six. words. Very good. Do I have a beginning? Yes, three and three is six. Three and three is yes. six? Yes. I do. I have a capital letter at the beginning. Do I have my finger spaces? Yes. 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 When I ran out of room, did I return sweep or did I try to squeeze it all in? I return sweet. Did I put a punctuation mark at the end? Yes. Yes, yes. we did all our yep. things. I want you to review right. with me one more time. Say who? Who? Does what? Does what? When? when? Okay, so here's the deal. So when you're finished writing your sentence, because guess what? When you go to first grade, you're always uh -huh. going to write first, then draw. So guess what I have time to do now? Draw. I get to illustrate now. Don't laugh at my monkey. I won't laugh at yours if you don't laugh at mine, right? Uh, okay. 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 So, okay, this is, okay, he's cute. Uh, so far he's cute. Oh, let me draw his, his fur all around. Oh, he's got a big beard at the bottom. He's got his body with lots and lots of fur on it. Oh, do you know what monkeys have long, what? Long, long tails. Long tails. Yeah. Um, then I'm gonna draw his, his, um, his, his arms and his legs. By the way, he looks like he has fingers like us, doesn't he? Yeah, he kind of looks like he has fingers. One, two, three, four, five. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna draw another one. One, two, three, four, five. And then he's got more, but it's going down this way. And oh my goodness, he kind of looks cute, huh? Does he kind of look like the one in the- And they um, have one? ears. <laughs> and uh, they have ears. They do, but they're really hard to see. So I'm not gonna draw that part. But there he is. Does he kind of look like the one in the illustra in the um, photograph? Good enough. Okay, so you really just helped me write a fantastic sentence. And I appreciate you not laughing at my illustrations because all art, everybody's different when it comes to art, right? Nobody's art ever looks the same. You know, Ms. Laura always says we're all artists. Okay, so I'm going to stop right now with our language and we're going to move on to Eureka Math, okay? So now we're going to do some of our math. By the way, your math lesson yesterday was on point. I was really, really impressed with what you did yesterday. I, did, I wasn't there yet.
yesterday. Who said, I know, Eloise, I missed you. But we're going to do it again today. But before we do, I want to do something with you. I want everybody to get up because before we move on to math, we're going to sing our seven continent song. Nace, I know you're in the seven car and you can't get up, but you can sing it with me. I'm not going to sing it. Who do I want to hear? I want to hear you. Yes. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Yes. Go, go, go. Called Ocean and Sea. North America, South America, so Europe and Asia, Australia, Antarctica, so the continent, back to the start. Let me see your best rap dancing, come on. North America, South America. Very good. Okay, so let me make sure I can get out of that. No, we don't want to do that. Okay. Now, that was fun. And I know y'all love that song. So before we move on, how many continents are there? Seven continents. Seven. Say them with me. North America, South America, Africa, Europe, Asia. Australia and Antarctica. Seven continents. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so today in math, we're going to continue working on our pesky teen numbers. You know, that's those teen numbers that just don't listen. Sometimes they don't make sense. So we have to help them make better sense to us. Okay, let me see. I'm going to turn my paper like this. And then get my marker. If you have paper and pencil, you can do this one with me. You can do this one with me. So we've been talking about teen number. Using, uh oh, where's my card? Oh, there they are. Using our hide zero card. Remember the hide zero cards that we used yesterday? And we used them using. We practiced yesterday using our number, oh, sorry. We practiced yesterday using our number bond, and then you can flip it either way to build your number or to take your number apart, which is composing and decomposing a number. Now, I'm going to show you a number. So listen, I'm gonna tell you a story. Remember yesterday, Miss St. Romain told you a story? Okay, so listen to Miss St. Romain's story today. Peter drew a number bond. So what's the first thing I need to do? We need to write. We need to draw the number bond. Peter drew a number bond. He drew a number bond of 13. So how do I write the number 13? One, three. A one and a three. Peter drew a number bond of 13. He used his number 13 as 10 and three. Does that make sense? Uh -huh. Okay, but guess what? When Peter was done, guess what Bill did? Bill also drew a number bond, so I need to what? 
Write another number bond. Draw another number bond. That's right. And draw another one. This is Peter. He drew a number bond. And this is Bill. He drew a number bond. Guess what Bill did? He also drew a number bond of 13. But guess what? His number bond looked a little different. He drew his as three ones and 10 ones, okay? So Peter drew his number bond of 13 as 10 ones and three ones. Bill drew his number bond of 13 as three ones and 10 ones. Y'all look closely. Do you notice anything about the two number bonds? Yes, they have all the same numbers. They have the same numbers, but do they look exactly the same? No. Can y'all tell me what's different? Uh, the numbers are um, different ways. The numbers are different ways. So watch, this is what I call that. You what? What did I do to the numbers? You remember that word? Flip. Hey, Isaiah, I'm glad you're back. I missed you yesterday. Were you having internet issues? Were you having trouble with your internet, Isaiah? Yes. Yes. Okay, good. Okay, catch up with us. So, watch my finger. Can you do this? Say flip. Flip. Can you flip your numbers? Flip. Take your fingers. Flip. So, Peter and what? Bill drew the same number bond, but they flipped the numbers, didn't they? So I'm gonna show you what this looks like too. If you have 10 ones, how many dots do I need to draw first? If I have 10 ones, how many do I need to draw first? Um, 10? One. 10, that's right. Let's count. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. How many did I draw? Ten. Ten. Uh, uh, very good. I heard somebody counting. Ten. So guess what? I'm going to circle that. That is a group of ten ones. Ten ones. There you go. Now I need to draw a group of how many? Three ones. Yes, three ones. One, two, three. Now I'm not going to circle those because that's not a complete group. So what number do I need to find? Um, ten ones in. Three. Three ones. So here is your 10 and here is your three. If I play the hide zero game, what number do I make? 13. 13. I love how you said this earlier, by the way, you said 10 ones and three ones makes 13. Okay, so I want you to repeat after me. Say 13, 13. is 10 and three. It's 10 and three. And if we flip it, it becomes 13 is three and 10. Three and 10. Very good. Was anybody yeah. able to follow along with that with their paper and their pencil? Yes. Okay, perfect. Can I move it? Because I want to move on to something else. So look, y'all still have your math workbooks at home? Um, I don't okay. have mine. Oh, who was that? Um, me. Randy? Was that you? Okay. That's okay. You can follow along with me. If you don't have it at home, it's okay. You can follow along with me. I'm going to tear out my page right here, okay? All right. So I'm going to get my marker or pencil ready again. Can you see? Let me see. Let me go a little closer so you can see this. 
There we go. What number are we looking at right now? 11. 11. So guess what that looks like? If you have 11, you have 10 ones and one one. Because remember, the one hides the zero. So 11 is 10 ones and one one. So how many do I need to draw on this side? How many dots? 10. 10. And then, you know, sometimes we don't always have to go left or right. We can go top to bottom when we're drawing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So here is ten ones. How many am I going to draw on this side? How many am I going to draw on this side? Somebody has feedback. Okay, if I have 10 ones on this side, how many ones am I going to draw on this side? One, very good. So all this is is showing your 10 ones and one, one. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna put everybody on mute because there's a lot of feedback. Somebody has something else on. So if you need to be taken off mute to answer, you know how to do that. Okay, that's much better. So now you can listen very carefully. If you have an answer and you need me, raise your hand, give me a thumbs up, anything else. Okay, so here is the number A. So first I'm going to start with 10 ones and then I'm going to draw eight ones. Can y'all see that? Let me scoot over just a little bit. Okay, so on this side, vertically up and down, up and down, I'm going to draw 10. One, two, three, four, five. That's my five group. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And that's my 10 frame, except instead of it being horizontal, left to right, it's top to bottom, it's vertical, up and down. But on this side, I'm going to draw eight ones, 10 ones and eight ones. I'm gonna start at the top and go down five. One, two, three, four, five. Then I'm gonna stop and go back up. Six, seven, eight. So 18 is 10 ones and eight ones. Okay, I'm going to put this one up and I'm going to see if you can help me. Raise your hand if you can tell me how to decompose the number 15. What number do I put on this side and what number do I put on this side? I take my whole and I break it into two parts using a 10 group. How many do I need to put on this side? Raise your hand. Raise your hand. How many do I need to put on this side? Okay. Eliza, take yourself off mute so you can answer for me. How many on this side, Eliza? Oh, it's breaking up. Can you show me using your fingers, Eliza? How many? Show me using your fingers. Yes, 10. Very good. You know what? It might just be better to use fingers. Very good, 10 on this side. And raise your hand if you can tell me how many do I need to put on this side, raise your hand. How many do I need to put on the other side? Randy, go ahead and put the phone away, honey. Uh, Isaiah, if I have 10 on this side, how many do I need to put on this side? Show me with your fingers, Isaiah. Show me with your fingers. No. If we have the number 15, we break it into 10 ones and how many ones on this side? Kaylee Martin, do you know how many? How many go on this side? Show me with your fingers. Nope, that's not a two. So we're looking for 10 ones. Look up here. If you have 11 and you have 10 ones and one one, if you have 18, you have 10 ones and eight ones. 
And if you have 15, you have 10 ones and, show me with your hand. Parker, I know you know, yes, five. Five ones, good Parker. So on this side, I'm gonna draw 10. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And five on this side. One, two, three, four, five. Very good, let's do one more. So this 15 is 10 ones and five ones. Okay, how many do I need on, let me get closer, oh, that's good. Right here, let's look at 14. What are we gonna start with on 14? Show me using your hands, how many? If I'm breaking apart, I'm decomposing 14. How many do I need? Kaylee Martin, try. If I'm taking apart 14, how many do I need? Show me using your hands. <clears throat> how many, Parker? Yep, 10. Very good, 10 ones. And then how many do I need on this side, Eloise? Show me using your fingers. 10 ones in. Yes, four. Very good, four. Okay, so 14 is 10 ones and four ones. Very good, Kaylee Martin, I see you. So Kaylee, show me using your fingers. How many dots am I going to draw over here? Let me see your hands, Kaylee Martin. Yes, 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. And then let's see. Uh, Nace, Nace isn't back yet. Let's see. Eliza. How many do we need to draw on this side, honey? Show me using your hand. Yes, put it down a little bit so I can see it. Yeah, four. One, two, three, four. Very good. So 14 is 10 ones and four ones. So we're gonna review this all together. I'm gonna tell everybody to take themselves off mute. I'm sending you a message, take yourself off mute so that we can do it together. Okay, repeat with me, repeat after me, 11, 11 is 10 ones and one one. Ooh, we have a bad view. Hey, Nace, welcome back. Say 18, 18 is 10 ones and eight one. Good. I'm not sure who that is, but they're doing a good job. Okay, say 15. 15. Is you tell me how many ones? 15. How many ones? 10 ones and. Five ones. And five ones, good. I know it's slow, broad width, how do you say, broadband width? Yeah, slow, I'm being slow. Number 14 is how many ones? Ten ones and? four ones, let's see. Okay, I know, there's a lot of freezing going on. We are so close to the end. So when you are taking your numbers apart, you're always gonna have your 10 ones, and then your, whatever your other number is with your ones, your other, say more ones, 10 ones and more ones, 10 ones and more ones, 10 ones and more ones. In this case, it would be 10 ones and one one. 10 ones and eight ones. Now I want you to show me, watch me. I'm gonna show you first 
how to do 11 to say 10 way. 10, one. Now you do it with me. Get your hands ready, Eloise. We're doing 10, one. 10, one. Okay, we're gonna do 18. We're gonna do 10, eight, the say 10 way. Get your hands ready, Isaiah. <coughs> 10, 8. Good. Now we're going to do 10, 5 for 15. Ready? Come on, Kaylee. 10, 5. Good. Last one we're going to do is 14. 10 ones and 4 ones. The say 10 way. Ready? 10, 4. You got it. Good job, y'all. I think we're having some trouble. That's okay. That's just called virtual learning from home. I think you did a great job. Kiss your brain. Y'all have a good weekend. Have fun. You get three days off and I'll see you back here on Monday at eight o'clock. I'll be back at school on Monday. Okay. I love you. Bye guys. Bye. Yes, tomorrow? Not tomorrow. Monday, okay? Uh, bye.